Hello everyone, Kremlin Archer here. Uh, this is Golf Club Wasteland. This is another one of the demos from the Summer Showcase that I wanted to try out and, and, and check out. It is, it is a golf club in a post-apocalyptic earth. We're, we're playing golf on a post-apocalyptic earth, which I think is going to have a little bit of a dark sense of humor. Um, it's supposed to be about, like, the ultra-rich escaped to Mars, and then they come back to the ruined earth to play golf as the basic setup. You know what? Are you sure? Yes, start. Uh, I'm going to not give a tutorial. Let's let's just see how bad we can do. Outskirts of Alphaville. Ran into a restricted area where the taxi ship landed. Continue. Mm. Story mode. It's your turn. Fix foot, soul. A bit of that old world flavor. You're tuned to Radio Nostalgia from Mars. Breathe easy. Kick back. And reminisce. Take my hand, explain your name. Oh, there we go. This project is called humanity. Don't let go. Right. Okay, now I'm getting it. All right, let's do that. No surprise. Is that we shouldn't be sad? Looks like there's a dude back there. <laughs> I'm uh, also not usually not super great at these uh, games. I'm hoping that all this music is is uh, copyright free. By the way, <laughs> guess we'll find out. Oh, so close! Oh, I can zoom in. Yay! I think this demo, they said it has like six courses or something like that, so it shouldn't be too long. Alright, clearly, clearly the people haven't completely died out here. No, that's not really not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Hello, cow. Oh. I wanted to see what would happen if I hit the hit the cow with the ball. Apparently, not much is the answer. <laughs> he didn't move when I hit him, though. It's interesting that it doesn't seem. Oh, boo! It doesn't seem to be counting my strokes. There we go. New diary entry unlocked. Aphrodite with a selfie stick. It became my habit to watch them play from behind the fence. to turn the sound down a little bit. Where did aim? Play intro, subtitles. Alright. Back. So was the diary. Oh, so you, you get more of the story by uh, by unlocking by playing better. <laughs> yeah, which we didn't get anything in Alphaville. Alright, that's fine. Boo. What happens if I get it like in this thing right next to me? I'm gonna restart. <laughs> I'm off to a bad start here. Yeah, reset level. supposed to be doing here because this seems to just keep going in the water all 
Yeah, let me let me reset the level again. I'm gonna try to get it in there just because I don't see how I have another choice. It's not a good sign when the third hole is stumping me. Yeah, like how am I? What are you supposed to do here? I'm confused. Our first caller for the show calls it like it is, and was a hard-hitting look back at the last days on Earth from the perspective of a shrewd businessman and loving father. Stories, memories, the good old days, original sources, authentic tales, hope, inspiration, drama. There we go. I worked in oil, brokering gasoline to be exact. It's a strange business, uh, probably not like you would actually imagine it to be. My day started something like this. I check Reuters, and my sheets. See if there's been a change in the fundamentals. See if the spread's up or down. And then when the clock strikes go, I'm on the phone. I could be calling some commercial shop in Bumble... Kansas, where little old Sue loves to know how my daughter's doing. Or I, could right. be trying to I want to hit that button, just because. That's when the psychology kicks in, and I go to work. If they pick up the phone, they're mine. That's the game. I started when I was uh, 29, 30. All right. Apparently that doesn't matter. My boss was a coked up, permatanned moron who was wasted by lunch. More money than sense. Okay. I'm screaming at waiters because uh, you don't drink gin out of a glass like that. And Caesar salad is supposed to have eight pieces. Eight pieces of chicken, you stunted fool. Stunted fool was his favorite insult. It's coming from a guy who's five foot nothing. That was pretty much my life, 24/7. I traveled a lot. <laughs> yeah, that's other. The, world. the other pipe the Amazon, here. The Gulf. Siberia, Central Asia, the States, nope. Singapore, okay. everywhere. Looking back, I can't claim that I ever would recommend that life, nor can I claim that I was ever really happy doing it. I still think pressing that button means something, but I don't know what it is. Talk about your share of moments. There was this one girl, some strange mix of Algiers and Paris, with some sprinkle of Havana, a dancer, naturally. So She'd turn a priest's head or give language, dude. Sometimes I wonder what happened to her. All right, but let's hit this. Same feeling. This way. No, don't fall off. Damn it. And sure enough, we were right. All right, guess we're guess we're going around the other way. Then you couldn't eat the crops, and pretty soon we wouldn't be able to breathe them there. I remember looking at Emmy and wondering what kind of a future would she have. Damn it. So do something. <laughs> All right, we're just going to restart here. Because <laughs> clearly this is B not working. Tesla, most evidently. The family and I had already put down roots in Tesla City by the time the great catastrophe really hit. The corporation knew my contacts in the world of drilling and refining would be useful. So I adapted my skills to something more practical. Now we are all that keeps this little planet running. Mining those Martian chemicals for the battery banks. <coughs> Martian cement for the buildings. I'm we bad at this. The future. <laughs> when somebody sits down and writes this all up for the history books, it might just be men like me they'll be hailing as heroes. So I, I, like I definitely so think so pressing that button has something to do with it, but I don't... I don't feel very confident in my ability to do that, so we're not going to do it. Radio nostalgia from Mars. Some pretty heavy stuff. I wonder if I played into the. Made it up here to Mars, but we're all in it together now, and remain creatures of the world. Um, I want to try and get into the elevator. Let's see what happens if I try and get in the elevator. Music for the lost days. 
I think it might take me to the to the roof. That's what I thought would happen. I didn't expect it to take me so many strokes to get in there, but that was what I was hoping for. Oh, that's not not a good spot. Too close to the wall. Oh, <laughs> you jerk! I did not realize that that was an open window. It's open here, and that was it. So basically this is the only spot that I would have had that problem with. Man, of course I miss. <laughs> Maybe this one more time around. <laughs> Alright, let's give the... No, we'll just do it the right way. I was going to say I want to give the, the button a, a second try here, but... Where are you flying from? Oh, you come in through that glass. That's why it's breaking. Okay. the elevator again. I think I can do this without quite so many uh, strokes this time. Ah, not quite enough. There we go. I wonder if I hit it with enough angle if it breaks the glass. No. <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice. I totally meant to do that. Hey, we did it, finally. Tower of Babel. They wore protective suits like giant insects with jetpacks. It's a lot of shopping carts. Alright, so you're going in. I imagine that will take you up there. That seems like a mess. It's like you have to hit it up into here and shoot it across. You jerk. Right, I'm just gonna restart that. In fifteen seconds. In ten seconds. No, oh, we're through at least. <laughs> In five seconds. In one second. Mm, probably could have gotten that on there. Out there. 
get your turn fix foot soul with a bit of that old world flavor you're tuned to radio nostalgia from mars <laughs> kick back and reminisce take my hand explain me this project all right so i think the really clever way to do it is to go out here and hop your way up but I don't have a very uh, strong sense that I can accomplish that. So we're going to try to get up there instead. Oh, okay, never mind. Didn't realize that thing was a solid object that I had to worry about. What happens if I just hit it in here? I just have to know. It's just lost forever. Okay. Hey, there we go. Getting a little bit better with this. I don't claim to be a good golfer, but I'm, I'm getting better at it. Of course, I say that and then that happens. We made it through both. That was unsurprising. Don't think I'm going to be able to get... Might be able to get on the next level. Yeah. I say, with that, with that angle, there's no way. Alright, can we hit just hit the edge and bump it back, maybe? Yeah, there you go. So I guess I need to land it in the top of that. Hello, crow. Custom Spines Lab. A custom spine? With like rhinestones on it or something. Oops. <laughs> Broke that poor man's spine. Okay, apparently you have to hit, you have to hit it hard enough to break it. <laughs> I'll get it one of these times. <laughs> or maybe I'll just keep making it worse. Skip available? I don't know what that means. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, I'm so bad at this. If they spotted me, they tried to hunt me down. Alright, I know there are f six... There are technically six things, but we might stop here. Nope, don't do that. Um, because clearly I'm not very good at this game. <laughs> and I don't really want to keep wasting your time. But it's neat. I like the, the little bit of humor it's got going on. I have no idea where the flag is actually in this thing. Um, We'll try and hit this button and then we'll see what happens. Missed.
missed again. Get it one of these times. There we go. Okay, so it just reverses the direction they go. Interesting. Alright, well I'm gonna stop here. This is golf, Wasteland Golf, or uh, check it out on the, the demo if you want to check it out for yourself, and I'll see you guys later.